kick off tour for a new record cycle and to start over here is kind of what we've always wanted to do and it had been so long since we've been back it's it's wonderful to see all the fans coming back most of these shows were sold out if not close to selling out so um, being back here and seeing these fans has just been wonderful we've had a blast aside from the, the cold weather that keeps following us around yeah they um, <laughs> all the audiences here have just you know their arms couldn't be you know wider as far as the the fact that they've really you know let us into their house um, and uh, into their cities and um, just really uh, quite brilliant audiences I must say the UK fans are always um, they you can see the the fact that they take live music very very seriously and they're very passionate about it so uh, it's been an honor to be here and we're coming back and doing downloads so we're putting another tour together right now around the festival seasons when we come back when we're writing a record we're quite fearless um, the first record doesn't sound like the second the second one doesn't sound like the third and Amaryllis doesn't sound like either of the, you know either of the three um, we just push the envelope constantly um, we're always trying to make sure musically that we're extremely dynamic we're diverse we're a pretty eclectic bunch of guys to begin with so yeah I mean I would say the difference to this one is we just push the envelope more um, as far as how musically we were going to make the record more diverse I mean We've never used horns before, to give you an example. On one of the songs, we used a 10-piece horn section on top of a 27-piece orchestra. So, uh, you know, it's a very cinematic record, though. Uh, Rob Cavallo, who produced it uh, alongside of us, um, you know, he said it's probably the most sophisticated record that he's, he's ever heard us um, record. After you come and see us, you'll be a stronger person. Five words. <laughs>